Good morning, Tim. Good morning. Tim Cook enriching people's lives while standing in grass. There's something awkward with that statement. It's been overused. Right from the start, we've been disclaimed this event will not showcase us the new iPad. Nevertheless, event was awesome. Let's talk about it and where's the iPad? Hi friends and welcome to Digital Marketing Channel. My name is Marco and this is your dose of Apple news, leaked information, tech rumors and reviews. Make sure you subscribe, leave a comment, hit the like button and enable all notifications so you don't miss the next video. This one is powered by Moft, so quick review of their accessory and let's go. Folks from Moth have just sent me their Snap-on phone stand and wallet. And I have to say, regardless if you are planning to buy one of iPhone 14 models or you own older MagSafe ready variant, this may be the perfect gift. Made of combination of soft vegan leather, fiberglass, metal sheet and magnets, you'll get durable and long lasting accessory. It doesn't lack functionality either. Moth phone and stand snaps easy on your iPhone. Then it's up to you how you're gonna use it since you have three modes available video conferencing position, streaming angle, and browsing. Moft also sent a pack of magnetic sticky pads, which will allow you to use this accessory on any other non-MagSafe phone, or if you want, to put an iPhone on any other non-magnetic surface. <laughs> Apple Watch 8 was the first new device featured at this keynote, bringing more health, safety and connectivity wonders than ever before, the 8 Gen is a step up. As predicted, body temperature sensor with cycle tracking will make ladies happy. Car crash detection is the next level of safety feature, since the watch will be able to detect strong G-force changes in multiple scenarios, thanks to combined activity of multiple sensors. Low power mode will bring up to 36 hours of battery life, an increase from 18, which is sadly still standard. International roaming is there too if cellular option is your thing. The base price is $399. The SE2 has borrowed the same SOC of the 8 Gen as well as crash detection. It looks the same as its predecessor for $249 starting price. But the winning wearable was Apple Watch Ultra. In our space grey titanium casing and with sapphire crystal, not only it's the biggest watch that Apple ever made, but the most durable too. With the inclusion of the new action button, should reimagine how you use it. Second speaker has been added as well as improved microphone for communication and signaling if you are in dangerous environment and situation. With up to 36 hours of watch time and 60 hours with low power mode, it's Apple's watch on steroids. Starting price is $7.99 and by default it's with cellular. The new AirPods Pro looks similar to its predecessor but with the H2 chip at its core. With high band with connectivity and improved sound quality. With low distortion audio driver and custom amplifier, it will lift spatial audio to another level, which you can now personalize and adjust to the size and the shape of your ears. Active noise cancellation should now be at least two times better than on the first gen. Ear tips are here again with the smallest one added as a plus. Transparency mode can become adaptive too, while capacitive sensing layer allows different gestures on the stems. You can change your volume, for example. With 6 hours of listening time and 30 hours of juice within the case, it's a satisfying upgrade. Find My feature now truly connects to your AirPods and thanks to the speaker at the bottom of the case, it will signal low battery state, pairing and location finder. What may seem like a small thing, for me it sounds great. You can now charge your AirPods with your Apple Watch charger. Its starting price remains 240 as many articles suggested, the iPhone mini is off the scope. The iPhone 14 arrived in two editions, 6.1 inches, 6.7 inch variant, which resurrected plus name. As anticipated, the A15 Bionic with 5 GPUs is at the core of this year's mainstream model. The notch is still there. Cameras did receive larger sensors, a bit bigger pixel and faster aperture, while front-facing shooter is upgraded to 12 megapixel true depth camera with autofocus. The new Pro lineup follows the same pattern, but the bezels now seem thinner. The notch is replaced by the pill-shaped punch hole cutout, which is the nest for 30% smaller face ID sensor. 
Apple has intuitively used this area to feature more modular and dynamic notifications and alerts, something described as Dynamic Island. The display supports between 1 to 120Hz refresh rate with the brightness peak at insane 2000 nits. At the core of this year's Pro lineup is the new A16 Bionic chip, the first ever made with 4 nanometer technology. The main camera is now a 48 megapixel shooter with quad pixel sensor. Ultra wide and telephoto camera cameras didn't move up from 12 megapixel, yet they still seem more capable. New adaptive flash is here too, always on display and safety features, crash detection and satellite connectivity. The iPhone 14 starts at $799, while the Pro model is still there at $999. So where's the iPad 10? Apparently, initial predictions have proven to be more accurate, and as it looks like, we will not see it yet until October event, most likely the same date when we should witness the introduction of the iPad Pro lineup as well as the new Max. 10 generation iPad is expected to bring updated, more modern design with 10.5 inch diagonal, possibly USB C and sharp edges. But will this redesign truly happen as it was shown on alleged CAD render leaks? It really remains to be seen. I hope it will be. If you are impatient to see the next iPad, I can completely understand because I'm with you guys all the way. If it comes with new visual style, I want to buy it and test it for you. Other than that, I really like this event and honestly I'm fully sold on the iPhone 14 Pro and that's dangerous. Did you like what you've seen on this event? Please answer below. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe, hit the thumbs up and turn on notifications. Thank you so much for watching this mocking channel. My name is Marco, talk to you soon. Have an excellent day. Bye.